In this demo, we will show how to enable communication between any industrial network and devices on a CanOpen network. To do this, we're using the Anybus X Gateway CanOpen Master, which works as a translator between the controlling network, for example Profibus, Profinet or Ethernet IP, and any industrial device on the CanOpen network. In this example, we're using an Anybus S as an example of a slave on the CanOpen side. To create the configuration, we will use the Anybus Configuration Manager, a CanOpen software which is included in the product package from HMS. It can also be downloaded from the HMS website anybus.com. I have connected my Anybus X Gateway to my computer using the included USB cable and CAN adapter. In the Configuration Manager, I go to Online and select Connection. In this case, I have connected my X Gateway to my computer using a USB to CAN adapter, so I select this and click Config. I specify that my adapter is USB to CAN compact. I want my board rate to be 500 kilobit per second and I'll leave the SDO timeout unchanged 5000 milliseconds. I click OK and then initialize the connection by clicking the Connect button. To find out which nodes that are connected to the CanOpen network, I click Scan Network and the software shows me all currently connected nodes. Now I move on to configuring the two nodes which the software has detected. I click on the X gateway and move on to Device Type, where I select that this should be the Manager or Master. I then go to Manager Settings and select the first four checkboxes. This will give me the best default values. I then go to my slave device. To have the best default values for my slave device as well, I choose the first four checkboxes. I have now specified the functionality for my nodes. Now it's time to set up how the data should be sent between the two devices. I do this in the PDO mapping tab. To the left I will see what is sent from each node and to the right I will see what is received by each node. We first select the Anybus X Gateway Can Open Master and choose that the first transmit object from the X Gateway should be Byte 1. We then select that the receiving node should be the Anybus S device, which should receive the object to Byte 1 in its out area. In this configuration, I have decided that I want to send and receive 8 bytes, and consequently, I want to add 7 more bytes in sequence. I right click and select Map Next Available Object. This adds the next available object in the node, in this case byte 2. The next available object is the next mappable object in the node, ordered by object number and sub-index number, from the lowest to the highest. I repeat this command until I have 8 bytes from the manager to the slave. I can also press the Insert key to carry out this command. Next, I do the same thing in the other direction, from the Anibus S to the Anibus X Gateway can open. I add the first transmit and receive object, and then repeat this command by mapping next available object seven times. The next step is to define how much data we want to receive from the controlling network to the X Gateway. Since we know that we have 8 bytes going in and out from the CanOpen network, we can specify that we only want to receive 8 bytes from the controlling network. We do this in the Object Dictionary, where we select the Anibus X Gateway CanOpen. We go to Object 3000, which is the input data size. I know that we have 8 bytes of communication and 2 bytes for the control and status word. I consequently type this value to 10. I do the same thing for object 3001, output data size. I am now finished with my transactions and want to set up surveillance on the CanOpen network. I want the manager to supervise the slave and vice versa, so I will know if a device goes offline. I start with my manager, the Anibus X Gateway CanOpen. Under the heartbeat section, I specify that a heartbeat should be sent to the slave every 500 milliseconds. The X Gateway should also expect to receive a heartbeat back from the slave at least once every second. 
I do the same thing for my slave. If one of the nodes do not receive a heartbeat from the other in the specified time frame, it will alert and I will know that a node has gone offline. Finally, I want to download my configuration to the network. I click download and all parameters are downloaded.